Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to modify reports in Access, you simply open them in Design View. Once you are in Design View, you can add controls to the report in the same way that you add controls to a form. However, the controls in a report are typically read-only and aren't used to change data, but to display data. One of the most useful types of controls is the calculated text box control. These are the types of fields that are created when you specify that a group in a report show a total. While you can create many of the calculated fields that you need while creating your data groupings, you can also create them yourself. Now a calculated field is simply a text box control that will display the result of a calculation that you create instead of a field value. To create a calculated field, simply open the report in Design View and insert a regular text box control into the report. Next, select the control that you inserted and view its properties in the Property Sheet. You can click the Property Sheet button that appears in the Tools group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to display the Property Sheet if needed. Now in the Property Sheet, select the Data tab and then click into the Control Source Property field and then click the Expression Builder button, which appears at the right end of the Control Source text box. This will then launch the Expression Builder dialog box. This dialog box is used to create functions and formulas. Either type the expression or formula to calculate directly into the box at the top of the Expression Builder dialog box, or you can select the individual elements provided in the three sections at the bottom of the dialog box to create the formula. When you're done creating your formula, Click OK to set the field's formula. Another important consideration when creating a calculated field that performs a calculation on the field data in the report is where it will be placed in the report. A calculated field may display different results depending upon which section of the report you insert it into. For example, if you had a calculated field that took the sum of a sales field, the formula in the calculated field would be equals sum sales. However, if you place the field into the report footer, it'll show the total value of that field for all the records displayed, as a grand total. If you place it into a group footer, it'll show the total of that field for all of the records within the group. Placing it into the page footer generally causes an error, as calculated fields cannot be evaluated on a per-page basis. Also, if you place the calculated field into a group footer, you then have the ability to set the function as a running sum. To do this, you would select the field and then choose the Data tab in the Property Sheet. You could then click into the Running Sum property to set the value of this property to Not Calculate, which is the default, to Calculate Per Grouping, or to Calculate Over All the Records. So that's a great way of displaying running totals over groups. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.